All right, suppose we know the value of a price index in two different years, 1992 and 1996. And uh, let's say we also know that uh, 1992 happens to be the base year. Right? So ba the base year is 1992, right? Okay, and for in order to calculate uh, the values of the, of the price index for these two years, uh, we need to know the values of the market basket for these two years, right? So let's say that the, uh, the values of the market basket uh, happens to be uh, 1,600 in 1992. And since, again, 1992 is the base year, we know that the market basket in the base year is going to be equal to the value of the market basket in 1992. So that's 1,600, right? So just remind ourselves that uh, 1992 is the base year. And uh, let's also suppose that the uh, value of the market basket in 1996 is $1,840, right? Okay, so we can use all this information to figure out the values of the, uh, the, value of the, the values of the price index in these two different years, right? So the value of the price index in 1992 is, of course, whatever the value of the market basket is in 1992 divided by the value of the market basket in the base year. And, of course, those values happen to be the same because, again, 1992 is the base year, right? So... That's going to be 1,600 divided by 1,600, and of course we multiply it by 100 to normalize this. And so it's just 1 times 100, which is of course 100, uh, which again, we, we kind of knew this going in because anytime you're calculating the value of the price index for the base year, you better get a, a, a value of 100, right? That's always the case. The base year always has a price index value of 100, okay? Uh, a little more interesting is calculating uh, the value of the, of the price index for other years besides the base year, right? So let's go ahead and do that for 1996. 1996, the value of the price index is going to be equal to the value of the market basket in 1996. And of course, again, we divide by the value of the market basket in the base year, and then we multiply that by 100, right? So it's going to be uh, $1,840, the value of the market basket in 1996 divided by the value of the market basket in the base year, which is 1,600. And again, we multiply by 100 to normalize, and it turns out that this is equal to 1.15 times 100, which is, of course, 115. So you can see that the value of the price index went up uh, to 115, which um, th that, that seems to make sense because, of course, if the value of the market basket went up from 1992 to 1996, then assuming the market basket didn't change, that means that overall, the overall aggregate level of prices must have gone up. And so the value of the price index in this year where uh, prices have gone up must should be higher than uh, 100, right? Greater than the, the, the value of the price index for the base year. All right, so that answer seems to make sense. All right, thank you for watching.